I need to just get a part four on this, huh? I have the same problem when I start getting full, the fast I eat. I'm trying to get it all in. John chapter 3, and look at verse 34. John chapter 3, verse 34. When you have it, say, I have it. For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. For God given not the spirit, but by, the me but by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son and has given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abided in him. What is the good work? Good work number one is that we got to believe on Jesus Christ. Is that simple? The good work first believe on Jesus Christ. That's right. And he will what? For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. When you meet people, are they speaking the words of God? Or are they speaking their religion? You, you better make sure religion does not equate to the word of God. See, see, when I tell you, woman of God, I don't care how far you fall, you can still get up. Ain't that the word of God? When I tell you that I'm supposed to turn the other cheek no matter how much you do, do all me. Ain't that the word of God? But we call ourselves Christians and hold grudges. That ought not to be, beloved. Okay, go to John chapter 9. I wanted to get to the Jew and the, the Protestant. John chapter 9, look at verse 4. When you have it, say, I have it. I have it. That's so good, I forgot to drink my water. John chapter 9, verse 4 says what? I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day, the night coming when no man can work. What are the works he's talking about? What are the works that Jesus did? He opened blind eyes. He raised the dead. He healed people. He said, I must work the work of him that sent me. <laughs> well, who sent us? Amen, Sister Beverly. God sent us. Guess what? His, his work criteria never changed. We must work the work of him that sent us. These are the good works that I'm telling you about. No matter how bad you feel, when somebody calls you, you need to pray for them. It ain't about how bad you feel. It's not by works, least any man shall boast. Who called me back, child? I'm not feeling You done missed an opportunity to work a good work. Didn't God just say it's not by works, least any man shall boast? What, you, you only going to pray for folks when you feeling good? You only gonna share the gospel when you got a pocket full of money? Now I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. For the night coming or confusion coming. Meaning the devil's always on our heels. Okay, one other one. Let me show it to you. John chapter 17. When you have it, say, I have it. I have it. These words spoke Jesus. Verse 1. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that the son may also glorify thee. What's the good work? We should be glorifying the father. That's why folks should want to be a Christian. God bless you, brother. Uh, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. I don't know who God gave eternal life to and didn't. That's why I'm not holding back the gift. That's right. 
Everybody got to hear the gospel. It's God who's going to say, you're hired, you're not hired. I don't have a say so. Ooh, the last person I thought would be saved is my Uncle Ray Ray. I don't have a right saying that. Wouldn't it be funny to people saying the last person I thought would say would be you? Verse 3. And this is, e this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Here is the work, that we might know the Father personally, and that we might know Jesus Christ personally. Can I tell you what's wrong with the body of Christ today? It started probably maybe in the early 90s. We started getting away from knowing each other. The mega churches started popping up, and we forgot to. Remember them country churches that had chicken dinner, and we did stuff all together? I knew your children. You can call them and say, pick my children up at the school. There was no problem. That ain't happening in churches today. Everybody got the big eye now. Don't sit in my seat. Push over. And, and we forgot the work of God is to magnify the Father in Jesus Christ. How do we do that? By humility. Look. Look at verse 4. He says, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? I'm going to say it again. I have finished the work thou hast given me to do. What is the work that God the Father gave Jesus to do that he finished? Then why did he heal people? Was that just lanyard? Oh, yeah. All he did was came to reconcile man back to God. The work that Jesus came to do was to say, you can get back to the Father. Say, but while I'm here, I'm going to show you how good God is. Blind eyes open. While you leading people back to the Father, say no or heal. Show them just how good God is. While you bringing people, <laughs> listen, I know we need to be telling people come to Mystery God's Fellowship Church. But my God, get people to Christ first. Get them to love Jesus. And in loving Jesus, folks will see how much I love Jesus. And in loving Jesus, folks will see, man, this man real. Because all God want to produce is real people. God don't want to produce people that just want to build churches. That's why if you look at our model, we say we're what? We're growing families, not just a church. I would like to grow families again. Where we can have functions and everybody getting along. Everybody knowing each other. And we're not ashamed to be ourselves. Oh, I can't take my shoes off because they're going to make fun of me. Can you just be yourself? I can go to my parents' house today and still be myself. We're in the church supposed to be our home. We're just supposed to be yourself. What's going on with the body, saints? Why? Because we don't know the good works we're supposed to do. He said, I have finished the work that God has given me. Verse 5. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Did you hear that? That implies that Jesus was always with God the Father before he ever came down here. Don't that bring Jeremiah to light? I knew thee before you were formed in your mother's womb. Now, can I tell you the gospel truth? Boy, when, when you start to glorify God, all you're doing is saying, Father, now glorify me with the glory I had with you before I even came through my mother's womb. And God said, that's what I created you for. Tell people how good I am. And then begin to open blind eyes. Begin to tell people your finances can turn around. Yes, Lord. That's what God wants to do. He wants us to love one another, saints. He wants us to really, really not just say the words. The problem is this. If you see Jesus' relationship with the Father, Jesus never told Father, give me, give me, give me, give me. He kept saying, let me bless, let me bless, let me bless. Do you understand? We got too many saints that's always looking to meet people to say, what can I get out of you? And if I could use the word that I grew up with, sucker. And 
למשיחה כמשיחה.